and we are back in an episode of Nazan P. I remember wondering, why am I in the plains dimension again of all this steroid? Well, because I want to show you something real quick. So I've been doing a bit of exploring, bit of exploring on my own, and found out, hey, this is similar to the mystical dimension. So what if I'm in the same direction? Okay, I did just do the same pattern, just choose a high point, it's meant from there. And that's about it. Alright. Okay, now let's see where this takes us, because I'm actually kind of excited to see what lies beyond the surface. Alright. And it is... Flowers. Okay. Wow, it really is a plains field. Alright. Nothing for miles upon miles. Except for this thing again. Alright. Wow, the place is huge. All oh, plain fieldy whatnot. And there's another one of these towers. Polar abandoned again. And by abandoned, I mean someone's inside there. Again. I actually want to see if I can get it legitimate this time. Not building up. Now I have a second. Okay. There we go. Okay. Oh, this time there's a villager inside. Right, let me try this, okay. Hmm. And we're here, okay. Hmm. Hello, good sir. How are you today? You need paper, alright. Whoa, we got potion of leaping? Okay, and cloak sacks, okay. I do not mean it. I do not mean to take from you. I'll just leave this here and here. I just want to see what this is. Okay. Um. Whoa. That's cool. I just want to see what you have. All right. I want. This is cool. All right. We have a guy over here. There's a bed. Um. Oh, um. Workstation. Everything. Okay. So he wants paper. I guess. All right, I guess I can give him a map. Well, not like the maps work in this in the server. But it's all right. Well, at least we know this guy is here. And this time it's not some kind of vindicator or evoke or whatnot. That would be a tragedy. And hey, look, he's got a nice view and everything. Wait, I'm at the conservation room. Alright, but for now, I gotta get out of here. Okay, so now in the case I mentioned where I'm not sure if I actually made a showcase in the previous episode. Well, I wanna make a showcase like now. Like, this is the entirety of the cave, oh, cave areas over here. So massive, things can like spawn anywhere. Of oh, ores and other sort of stony stuff. Right, if you have one wrong move and you fall to your doom. So you gotta be extra careful around this area. I remember seeing some endermen here as well. I'm trying to look for an enderman real quick. There are some in the warp forest too, but yeah, I just thought to showcase this area right here. Yeah, see, it's so deep. There has to be some cave above us. Who knows? Okay, I was here earlier, by the way. I couldn't find any end Minnesota. <laughs> Dev, I spoke too soon. There's someone here. Okay, good. I need to trap one in the boat. Okay, so we have our eye of ender right here. If this works, then we can then we can follow it. If it doesn't work, then uh, at least at least we can use the interest. Three, two, one, go. Where'd it go? <laughs> It does work. And it went that way. Wait, hey, hold on. It does work. Oh my gosh. It actually works. So according to the eye, it's that way. Alright. That's that's make that's huge. Okay. So it does work. Which means we'll probably get more portal blocks. And why not? Alright. It's a hunt for the eye. And so the journey began to go hunt for the stronghold. Drawing every eye of ender that I had on me to ensure that I'm going in the right direction. However, there was a certain point where I went too far, the eye actually went back towards the opposite direction, so I had to do some backtracking. Eventually I reached a point where I was near a village, and it was going back and forth all the time, so I concluded I was somewhere near that village. So I pinpointed a nearby cave, so I could mine towards it. I eventually did mine into a ravine after mining down. And yeah, I sort of got lost in here, but eventually I did actually find out where the stronghold is. Just after a few more twists and turns and dead ends, of course. But at least I found it. Okay, I think we finally found it. There's... Of course, skeleton here. 
catches. The stronghold. Oh my gosh, yes. Alright. I just gotta find a way inside it. Clear not this way. Good, it's blocked off. But this way, yes. Okay. Okay, well that didn't take too long. I did a little decorating. Took a little more accommodating. And yeah, the stronghold. Can you believe it? Wait. And, and the best part is, once we discover the end, we could bit more blocks to find. I just hope the end portal isn't disabled on, on the server, like the obsidian portals. Oh, are those low squid lichens? They are those. Jeez, these guys are don't mess around, and I think I found the portal room. That's fast. How, how is it that every single stronghold I enter, I always find the portal room quickly? For those who don't know, before, before I started YouTube, I used to play Minecraft a lot, and I would and every stronghold I would find, I would always find the portal. Just just that center right here. That's amazing. Alright. No center here. Oh, wow, look at all these mobs. This time they are in cages, yeah. They were always empty, now they actually aren't. I guess they're being sent for the timer, so they know how they're still still switch. I thought I did that up, hold on. Get out of here. There we go. Okay, so I have one iron ender. I need 11 more, which I need to kill 11 more endermen. I need to use 11 more blaze powder. Now, how? Now I need to know how far this is from my house so I can quickly go back or just at least make an attempt to make a connection to the to my house. Oh, there's a library here. I almost forgot these existed. <laughs> I've been playing Minecraft for so long, I almost forgot about the about the stronghold. Oh my gosh. And for all these new updates and everything, they've been really coming in. Ooh! I am a trim luxury mending. That could be used for a trident. Okay. Also, I think there was another. Okay, here it is. I am a trim. Oh wow, either way, I couldn't go through the original. I just blocked up my web, sorry. Hey, another library! <laughs> what are the odds of that? Uh, cobwebs. More iron trims and paper. Cool, why? More iron trims, okay. Yeah, I'm not really familiar with the armor trims or anything. i seen videos on how they work, but I just never had the chance to apply them. Nor will I ever. Because I kind of like the original. Don't get me wrong, they look cool. I've seen some pictures. But I, am, I don't really have time to bother with that stuff. I don't just keep them as a collector's item. Ooh, we got bread, okay. Yeah. Ooh, an underbar, okay. Now we just have to kill ten of them, and... I'll take the apple too, because why not? Ooh, iron sword, okay. Extra weaponry. I hope I don't get lost here. Alright. Okay, I have to get lost in there. I got some good stuff. Got an extra pickaxe, uh, another sword, and eyes of Ender, and three underbrows, and smoothie tablets. Alright. Right now, I need to find my way back home because I need like 11 more. I need like 8 more eyes of Ender. I mean, Ender Pearls. And so, I began the process of collecting Ender Pearls. First, through pig bartering. And for some weird reason, on this server, you can't just throw the gold on the ground and the pillars are coming towards them. Instead, you have to actually go up the dead and hand it to them in person, like a civilized person. So yeah, I was able to get a total of 8 from that one. The rest of the few, I just had to go out hunt for endermen. Which is just a very simple process, just make sure you gotta chop them in the boat before they just start attacking you. So after I got all the ender pearls, I replied this one the wheat to get the bread, and I had to go and find the stronghold again, because I forgot to jot down the coordinates. How stupid of me. But uh, I'm finally here. I already jotted down the I jotted down the coordinates, saved them on my thing. And all I have to do now is to find is to refine the boardroom and well yeah, was it worth it though? Let me check. Whoa, that is cool. Here we go. Three, two, one. Goodness gracious. Okay, well then. Do I have time to do this? I don't know. I haven't. Re I have pork chops, I guess. Is the dragon still alive, though? I'm not sure. So who knows who's gonna be down here? That's gonna be a good. That's a good question. All right. Wait it this long. Let's see here. Three, two, one. And 
and it is a not what I meant it. At least someone's been here. <laughs> Man, this place looks freaky. Yeah, definitely someone has been here. There's like a bridge over there and whatnot. Is that a dragon's dead? Alright, cool. I just gotta watch out for the Enderman. Okay. On the plus side, there's Endstone everywhere. Which means I can make a... Can I make a portal out of this now? That's that. That would be the dream. Alright, experience points. What left these here? Yeah, somebody used nether back here. Alright. And there it is. The... Oh, ho, ho, ho. there it is. The final portal. Alright. So yeah, I was right. You needed end stone. Alright. Wow. Okay, whoa. That's that's new. Whoa. Look at all this deserted wasteland. Oh my gosh. Is that, is that a ship up there? Or is this more land? I think it's more land. But yeah, I could definitely explore this if I wanted to. If only had an ender pearl. I could just kill these guys. Oh, honestly. Yeah, but I'm not going to because, well, I would not. Because I want to check out to see what this last dimension is. Yeah. <laughs> there it is, boys. We did it. The portal room is officially complete. I'm actually kind of excited to see what's behind us. It's probably end theme or something. Alright, here we go. Three, two, one, go! Here we go. Whoa! Oh, what is what is this? Is this coral box? Oh, phantoms. Phantoms? Whoa. Jeez. Okay, wow. Oh, no. Uh oh. I looked at an enderman. Everybody back in the portal. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, run. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Goodness gracious. Well, it certainly is deadly. I'll tell I'll tell you that much. So after that tragedy, I had to put myself a box around in the portal to keep myself sheltered from the phantoms and whatnot. After I finished that, I decided to explore this whole area. See if there was like any value here. But no, it was just like a barren waste of nothingness. It was just dead stuff everywhere. And phantoms, of course, which always started to attack you. Even on the mainland, which I didn't really get to see much of first up because, again, I was attacked by phantoms, and in doing so, I might have accidentally attacked an enderman, which almost actually killed me, so I had to go running back to the bridge I made, only to think, oh, water might work, which it doesn't. Water, for some reason, doesn't really work properly in this dimension. So yeah, I had to go hide in a cave somewhere until the heat died down. Man, that was a close call. But eventually it died down a bit and I went to go explore the mainland. And you wouldn't believe it, it's also a barren wasteland. Like, there's nothing there, nothing alive anymore. Whole nothingness. The only thing I found that was kind of interesting was this cluster of amethyst and blackstone, which I thought was kind of interesting. Like, why would this be here of all the blocks and resources? There are also these like, weird bone structures that you're about to see right now, which formed a very circular pattern. Not sure if that's something like anything. Maybe it's like a dragon's comb or something? But I, I had, I realized I had to leave this place because, yeah, there was like phantoms everywhere, and there was like no way I could get back to the other end island without having to mine all this, which would waste a lot of their ability. So I went back to home, and then went back to the stronghold to go back to this normal end dimension, so I could go to the outlands. See if there's anything of value in there, at least. And we're there. Okay. Good. We made it to a much nicer area. Much nicer than, than the previous ones, and we also have a way back as well. She just built up to with, like end stone and whatnot. But I gotta remember the spot. Okay, I don't think the I don't think the others have been here yet. I just haven't seen any trace of them. Okay, no one really wants to know in any if there are any traces of them. The best, hey, the point is there are no phantoms here. That's all that matters. No phantoms. Thank goodness. I am, though, seeing a lack of chorus fruit. Chorus flower. What I want is, what I, so what I want to get is the chorus flower. But it seems it's very deserted. Whoa. Did they go? 
Did they muster up all the plants? Did they not think? Oh, <laughs> did they not think to to save the flowers for re for reproduction or something? That's strange. All right. Sadly, as some of you might have guessed, this is also a barren wasteland. The only upside is that there are no phantoms here. Thank goodness, no phantoms. But on all that, I didn't see any end cities for miles around here, though it wasn't even a chorus plant. It was all like a dead wasteland. It was a bit much safer, yeah. Even if I were to go out to those end islands over there, I don't think I would have found anything. Or at least not on foot or by bridging over there. So yeah, I had to just go back, feeling a little bit bummed out. Hopefully something better comes along my way. And hey, at least I didn't die yet, right? Oh, jeez, no, 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 My goodness gracious, man. How does that happen? How does that happen? Hmm. In the end, you've got to be kidding me. I don't even know what clock. I can't even tell what time it is. All the things. The one that gets me is fall damage. Oh my gosh. I can't believe this has happened. I don't even have enough food to get back there. Okay. You know what? I'll meet you guys back. Alright, where is it? Where is it? I know it's around here somewhere. How? Okay. How high is this anyway? Yeah, see? It, I showed I landed the bucket clutch. Right there. I should not have died there. Was it because of the lag? Okay. Yeah, I can see how it's high, be high up, but... I perfectly landed the water bucket right there. How did that not work? I don't know. The point is, I got my stuff back. That's all that matters. The only downside is that I went from 51 to 7 experience levels. How does that happen? Ah, well. You know what? It doesn't matter. The levels aren't really important anyway. What's important is that I got my stuff back. And that, well, yeah, this place is a barren wasteland. <laughs> Hey, listen, the portal in my portal room led to a whole phantom wasteland, the slash dead coral wasteland, which I'm not even sure they can make a portal of that. This, this area right here, it just feels a little depressing. A little bit. I still kind of have hope there might be something out there, but as of now, no, it's nothing. And I can't even go through there again, because I might die again. Also, where does this form? You know, since I'm at seven levels and I'm and I'm, I don't no longer have that leverage to lose anymore. I'm also see what's behind the, what's beyond this portal there, because normally I don't go through other people's portals just to respect the privacy, but I think this one's a local portal. So I'm gonna get real quick in case something bad happens, and we'll see what's through this portal. Let's go. I can't see a darn thing. Where the heck am I? Oh my gosh, what is this place? What is this? Use this portal to navigate to other people's bases. Okay. Now where does this portal lead? Probably somewhere dangerous, I hope. This says Amazon. Wait! I I've seen this chest. Yeah! I've seen this chest before. Yeah, I remember. There was like a chest with these with these exact same shards on the day of I thought it was a dream for a minute there, but it's actually it's actually real. I guess it's nice to go back to the island I once started. Yeah, I remember now. This is the exact same dirt portal I went through. And behind that dirt portal is a wood portal. And that's where I got to the forest which, Okay, wow. Okay, this day suddenly got a little more positive. Oh, jeez. I'm stuck. I have no choice but to walk my way out. I'm sorry, I have no intention of doing that. I don't know how to put the snow back, but that's fine. But look at all these portals, oh my gosh. I know it's wrong to take a sneak peek, but uh, I want to see what I got. Okay. What is that over there? I think it's just wood. Let me just double check. Whoa. Wait. Cartography tables? That can be used as a portal? What? You can use cartography tables. I did not know that. That's gotta that's gotta be a joke, isn't it? No, there's no way a cartography table can be used as a portal. <laughs> that would be silly. 
Okay, quickly now. Let, before it turns nighttime, I actually want to test this. There's no. Yeah, there's no way this works. No way this works. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. I seriously would I I I'm I'm lost. I I never would have it would have all been for nothing. Like, it would have actually hold on. Yeah, it would have actually all been for like I would have never gotten that this block would work. Like, I'm sorry, I'm a little surprised but at the same time a little frustrated because oh my gosh. It was right under my nose this whole time. Well, not really, but sorta of under my nose this whole time. I guess it was kinda Painting it. I don't know. Is this like a reference to, you know, being, oh, dimension travel? I don't know. But. So I'm just a little, sorry, I'm just a little frustrated because, well, I would have never gotten it. So all the blocks I could have tried, the last, the last thing I would try would be the work, would be the work block, would be the work, the, the workstations. <sighs> well, at least. Well, at least we got the final block, I guess. So we can replace that other block, I guess. Alright then, after losing some blocks to the void... Well, oh, it's seven blocks, what a waste. We finally got the, what may be the last bizarre dimension that I can muster up. Alright, you better be worth it. You better be worth it. Alright then, three, two, one, go. Uh... Um, where am I? Oh my gosh, okay. Okay, first, well, at least there's life here, but where the heck am I? What the heck is this? I don't even have enough torches, what the heck? Okay, wow, it's kind of gone. Let's see, check me. Enter the checkerboard of dimension. A bit of everything can be found here. Alright, that's cool. So I guess all those are minutes, right? Yeah, I guess the portal room's complete now. Sort of, by sort of by accident, or yeah. Sorry, I'm still a little stunned on how, on how I never would have gotten that that a that a work that a workstation, a cartography table could actually work. Because the reason why I didn't think it was gonna work because I tried with barrels before, and it and it didn't seem to work. That's why I tried. That's why I didn't think all the workstations would work. But apparently, the, cart the cartography table does. According to the description, since you can find a bit of everything, I guess. So you can find all these all these dimensions, I guess. Actually wait, yeah, all these dimensions combined into one dimension. That actually that actually does sound like a fitting final portal here to be at the front be at the last line. And you'll see why this is about to be very fitting for the last portal. Whoa. It's beautiful. I don't believe it. Beautiful. Oh, and of course, a zombie comes in to ruin it. Gosh darn it, I'm trying to have a moment here. Yeah, look at that, it is one of everything. It has the... It has the, those little ice spike things, the jungle, which is... Which, I have no idea how that's here, but okay. And it's officially morning. I can officially explore this area a little more. Yeah, look at this landscape. Okay, pirates. No, I forgot about pirates. No. Oh my gosh. All right. Oh, we even got the mesa part as well. Yeah, a little bit of mesa, a little bit of jungle. I think this place really does have everything. Yeah, look at that. A mangrove right over there. I can probably find a proper balance as well. Yeah, look at all this clay. Look at all this. This must be this must be the uh, lush caves, I guess. In a way, I mean, they're supposed to be on the ground, but, uh, but yeah, this is kind of nice to see like a lush caves, like, or should I say, a lush plains. <laughs> look at that, right next to the mangrove. Is that terracotta? I see. Hold on. Nope, mushrooms. Wait, mushrooms, mycelium. Holy moly. My, 
look at that. A whole mushroom area. Which means I can get to see mushrooms. That's, this, is, this is amazing. Oh my gosh. This really is one of everything. Who would have thought? Oh, there's even magma cubes here. Wait. Magma cubes? Well, there was bound to be a nether biome somewhere around here. Might as well get used to it. Oh, birch forest. Oh, wow. This isn't that. Is that kind of like the concept art from from Minecraft in a way? Like how they say they're gonna upgrade upgrade the birch forest someday, make it a little more unique. I think this is what Mojang was talking about in the concept art. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, this oh, this exactly looks like the concept art. Oh my gosh. Yeah. This looks like the concept art. I don't believe it. All right. They even got huge taiga biomes everywhere as well. Up, oh, planes, planes, planes. Yep. Okay. Wow. And a proper acacia f and a proper acacia savanna place thing. Yeah. Mixed in with like a snowy, a snowy taiga and a little bit of a snowy beach kind of thing going on here. All right. Imagine what else we could find here. I probably should turn back. I am. I am on my last beef Wellington. Oh, oh creeper. Okay. Overall, yeah, that that is what it that is what it stated. Every every bit of a bit of a little bit of everything. And I showed there are, there are actually bumps that you can't even get from these dimensions. See, for example, the mushroom and the and the lush and the lush plains biome and the mangrove biome. You can't get them with either of these portals. So yeah, it's amazing. So yeah, I guess it would make sense that this would be like the last, this would be like the last portal to ever be built. So yeah, I guess I'm glad that this would be the last portal I make, because that has one, because that has a bit of everything. And, act, and surprisingly, I would have never gotten it had it not been for the others, I guess. And thankfully, I won't have to go back to the end ever again. At least not now, at least, because right now I have a whole vast opportunity to explore now. So that would be really something. We may have lost a lot, but we gained a lot as well. Let's roll. I am running out of time again. How does that always happen? Does that happen? But yeah, our po I can safely say our portal room is officially complete and ready for business. All right. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think. Comment down below. Like and subscribe for future other stuff in the meantime. And yeah, I'll see y'all next video. Take care. Bye for now.